If we're gonna go really cost efficient, it's just keeping up with the maintenance of the property, weeding, mowing, this is something you could do yourself to save some money. I would recommend at least having a landscaping crew come out, maybe do an assessment. I mean, of anything, that is like, requires zero money and you get big increase, right? Correct. Would you agree with that? I would agree. Yeah. Anthony. Yes, sir. Talk to me. How do we increase the equity of our home with the highest return on investment? Well, there's many different options we can explore, Joe. I've come up with maybe eight solid okay. strategies. Eight. First, Beautiful. First and foremost, I think cleaning and decluttering can go a very long way. Yeah. Very inexpensive to do. Just a little bit of time and elbow grease. Yeah, because if it's dirty and you're walking through a dirty house, what do you automatically assume? One, it's either overpriced or two, just not for me. Yeah, it's not for you because you don't know how they maintain it, right? <laughs> right? Maybe they're not switching out the uh, furnace filters. Maybe they're not getting the stuff done when they're supposed to. Clean and declutter goes a long way. It just gives the right feeling. And it makes the move easier as the seller side. Um, sure. Not taking yeah. all these things that you don't want, separating into piles, donating things of that nature. I agree more. It also, I think, allows by decluttering it, allows the buyer to visualize itself in the space more because there's just less stuff. Yeah, right. couldn't agree more. Yeah, so we're spending a lot of time on that because of, I mean, of anything, that is like, requires zero money and you get big increase, right? Correct. Wouldn't you agree with that? I would agree. Yeah. What about number two? What would you say is, because you said you have eight. So what's I have number eight. two? Um, okay. Adding some usable square footage can go a very long way in the home. And what we mean by that would be a mother-in-law suite. Not a lot of homes have that, so you're going to be... Sure leapfrogging the competition, whether it's adding an additional bathroom or yeah. just any kind of livable space that's not going to be in the competitor's home yeah. is going to be the best advantage for you to increase your value. I've got friends where they have like no closet off their master and they're like, our house is awesome, but we have no closet off our master. Just that little bit extra there would really make a big deal because that might be the deciding factor on whether or not someone makes an offer or doesn't. It's funny you say that, Joe. I'm touring a buyer around right now, and one of the big things is they won't buy a home with small closets. <laughs> so there, there you go. I would call that usable square footage. I would too. Right. about number three? This is unique. Uh, make your home more energy efficient. And it doesn't have to be solar panels or a giant windmill crane in your backyard. Simply replacing with a, a new energy efficient thermostat, which will cost you under $300, where you can dictate the way that the air is moving through the home. You can save a lot of money that way. Also going with fresh or new insulation in your attic space or blown in insulation to create that value. The only other thing you could really look at there to make more energy efficient, this might vary more cost, but it's going to provide a lot more benefit to you would be replacing windows, energy star efficient windows throughout the house. Sure. And what a lot of people don't know is there's actually tax credits available as a result of making your house more energy efficient, yes. right? So the government's willing to help you with that via tax breaks. So that's great. Then what about number four? What would you say that is? Fresh paint. A beautiful fresh canvas goes a very long way for the buyer walking through. Sure. Um, a lot of times as sellers and when we live in our home, we make it very unique to ourself. One example I can think of is you've got a teenage daughter that wants the hot pink room. Awesome for that moment for you and your daughter. Amazing to have that experience, have that unique eclectic feature to your home. But when it comes to selling that home and the walk through the hot pink room might not be what the buyer's looking for. Yeah, the buyer walks in and says, I've got to spend money on this. Yes. Right. And uh, that's interesting. And I actually feel like fresh paint plays into what we were talking about in terms of clean earlier too. Absolutely. Right? If you could put that fresh paint, it gives, especially if you're taking something from dark to light, it brings that fresh feel to it. What about number five? Work on curb appeal. Uh, a couple different ways to do that. Again, if we're going to go really cost efficient, it's just keeping up with the maintenance of the property, yeah. weeding, mowing. This is something you could do yourself to save some money. I would recommend at least having a landscaping crew come out, maybe do an assessment. Uh, if there's something that you could do to, to brighten the front of the home, make a little bit of additional curb appeal, some vegetation. That goes a long way with when people are not only coming to look at the home, but when they're looking online into what homes they're actually going to go through yeah. and make a decision, that curb appeal oh, in the photos sure. is a huge separator. Well, how many times do you get a chance to make a first impression? Once. Once. It's kind of a leading question. <laughs> What about number six? We kind of hit on it a little bit, but upgrading the exterior of the property. So whether it's the window system, depending on if you've got wood siding, maybe sanding that, having a professional come out, sand that down, power wash it and restain and seal that or repaint it. If you're looking at any other means, just doing a quick power wash on the property, just making sure it looks clean, similar to the paint inside, a nice fresh canvas to be, to be presented. We just got all of our brick pavers power washed. Yeah, what a difference. Yeah, night and day. But it was <laughs> worth it.
What about the kitchen? Updating the kitchen is always going to be a strong, suitable means of getting more value on the home. Uh, yeah. Most of the time, where do we spend most of our time in the home? It's usually with our family in the kitchen, whether it's preparing yeah. for food, doing homework, sitting down and discussing what's the next things we're going to do. We spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So a lot of clients that I deal with on the buy side, one of the most important factors to them, if they're going to give up their home and move somewhere else, they want a stunning or beautiful move-in ready kitchen. It's usually always on the top of most people's list. So you're definitely going to bring in a lot more people to look at the home with a, a change. Even if you can't afford a full remodel, even just changing the handles, changing some of the features that are inexpensive to do can go a long way with drawing a crowd. You could switch the doors on it, get them painted. And then last but not least, what would you say the last thing? So if you are vacating the home and you're going to be selling a vacant home, I think it's super important that you stage that home. A lot of the feedback I get with my clients when we're walking through homes, especially vacant versus occupied residences, is it feels like home when they're walking through somewhere where somebody's already living in there. They've got the furniture. They can visualize living in the property. A lot of times vacated homes can tend to sit sometimes on the market, feel a little cold when you're walking through. And that's just the general feedback I get. So if you've got a home that you've vacated, or even if you've got a home, you've already moved a lot of your furniture out, definitely consider speaking with your agent about getting a professional to come out and stage the home appropriately, where you're going to get a lot more return on value for pretty inexpensive costs and in, in what they provide services wise. Yeah, and if you want to check out our video on staging that can get into all that at a deeper level, go ahead and click here. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks. it.